So, uh, so Python programming and, uh, and debugging. So uh, uh, the most simple way is simple to, to uh, when you're debugging, put in some print uh, statements here and there. There's actually a, a thing called pprint uh, one that might format the, the output slightly better. Um, instead of these uh, print commands, uh, you should look into the locking module. Uh, so real debugging is available in DB, PDB, the Python debugger, and uh, available in, in, for example, in Spider. There's also another framework or a program, uh, PUDB, that uh, allows you to uh, do interactive uh, debugging there. And then I'll also show you uh, sort of w one example that uh, an internet guy, Paul uh, Butler, has made with a construct, uh, a decorator that puts a decorator on top of uh, functions that allow you to, to view for the, the calling uh, structure, in, in, for example, in recursive functions. So before major debugging, the, 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 uh, a good idea is to, to consider these unit tests here, or test-driven dri development, that where we incrementally uh, expand the program. Uh, and also PyLint and uh, uh, PEP8 might catch some of the problems that you, uh, that you run into. So consider uh, uh, running these uh, as you go along in the uh, in, when, when you when you develop and before going into and uh, considering major debugging. But sort of the the, uh, the simple way is to just to put in a print. Uh, you should really think about this if you hand in a print an assignment with a print command in it and ask yourself whether is that really necessary. Uh, whether it's, it's acted there or commented out. Um, but uh, it's also, pos instead of print, uh, if you want to have a nicer looking one output, uh, the pprint module has a pprint uh, function that uh, gives you a somewhat nicer looking formatting of the, uh, of the variable you, signs you, you show. So th this, will, uh, this will, for example, work in, in the nested structures, dictionaries of li uh, arrays of dictionaries, so uh, they, they produce a nice indentation there. Uh, but instead of these printing here in a finished program, you should uh, instead consider uh, the locking <coughs> module of Python. It has a number of, of different functionalities that uh, might be interesting here. You can set uh, different uh, levels of locking, a debug, uh, info, warning, error uh, uh, level. Um, there's a default uh, around here, info and warning, as far as I remember. Uh, it might be useful in, in, in programs that needs to run regardless of uh, what the user provides. Uh, uh, demons and, and web applications. Uh, this uh, logging module can provide uh, consistent formatting, for example, timing information, logging level. Uh, you can set the, the, these locking levels, and uh, you can also redirect uh, the, the locking to, instead of just putting it out to standard output, put it into a, a lock file, a different lock files, depending on what, uh, where, the, the, um, where you want to put it in, whether it's an error or, 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 or depending on which uh, kind of module it, it's arising from. So uh, a simple example is shown here. Um, a simple logging example that uses the basic functionality. So import the logging uh, module and also here in it to make, to make a, some kind of actual functionality is called request so I can uh, download something from um, a Firehose web service. So what I do here is uh, first issue a debug message that I write myself and then uh, try to, to download some information from this Firehose and put it into a, a dictionary of arrays, dictionary, uh, and uh, then in the items there, there's a list of dictionaries with the, the feeds from this Firehose. If uh, this is not, uh, if there's an error here, there's an exception, and the exceptions output a warning that it could not download feeds from, from a Firehose. And then uh, we print out the, these, um, what, what's, in a particular field in, in each item here, the content, which is the text of, a, of a, this microblogging service that are aggregated in O Firehose. So what uh, this results in, in, a, in this case here, is uh, in sta two standard outputs, a warn, uh, a warning here, 
uh, with this in this way here. You might answer. You m might question why why there's this locking debug is is not uh, debug is, is there any any idea why why this is not available out here and why this does not get outputted? Yes, so it, it's not running in debug mode, mode, or rather, we when we uh, when we inst instance this, the, the default mode, the default level of uh, the locking level, is not uh, is somewhere in between here, so it doesn't output debug uh, messages. So this here simply gets lost. So that's why it's not uh, coming here. So the only thing is is this from this one here. A more elaborate example is, is here, where we uh, set up the lock file, uh, change the formatting, and uh, change the locking level. We, we're, we're doing the same. We, we like to do the same for 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 the um, for the same functionality. So these are the initial uh, setup lines for for locking uh, in this more complex uh, with this more complex scheme. So <coughs> I uh, construct a logger, uh, call it uh, here open feed. And uh, then I will like to have a specific file name placed. Here I call it openfeed.lock. File name, I put it in to set up the handler for, for that file name and uh, then uh, make uh, changes in the formatting. So what I have here is the time of the lock message and the level and uh, the message itself. And so I get a formatter object out and I set the formatter in the, uh, in the handler and put the handler to the locker, and then uh, to not propagate, to not have output uh, in the uh, standard uh, in, in this standard uh, output, I put the standard uh, this uh, this uh, propagate variable to to fault, so it, it doesn't output to standard error or standard output. Uh, then I set the level uh, to a deeper level rather than the default level to debug. And then I issue a, a locking message there. So now I have a locker module, a sort of a locker object that I can um, that I can use. So instead, in the first case here, I used locking, that is directly calling functions in the module, defining functions. While here, I've set up uh, the the locker module, and then I need to call that logger dot debug. I put out. Uh, Besides that, uh, it's the same. Uh, we have the logger one here and the logger debug up here. So when I execute that one here, there's no uh, longer any standard output from uh, from this script. Rather, it runs into uh, the open feed lock. There. And you see now there's uh, some timing information. Then there's the the level, uh, the info, uh, the locking level, and the the messages themselves. Okay, so real debugging uh, can take place in, in, in PDB, the Python debugger. Uh, you have a module and uh, for interactive uh, code debugging. So perhaps the most simple case of, of using that is, is simply to, to write import PDB and PDB set trace. When you do that and put that sta uh, these two statements somewhere in your, in, in your Python code, you would have a breakpoint, and it, it will, uh, when, when the execution reached this uh, sentence here, uh, or st statement, it will, um, it will uh, start the debugger and, uh, and with the prompt uh, PDB. And then uh, you've got some uh, keyboard shortcuts here. You've got help and dash H. It should actually say here, it says S, which is wrong. So that, that displays the list of commands. There's uh, some, uh, the usual debug um, uh, functions, uh, step uh, with the program, and, and next where you don't uh, um, uh, go into the uh, to function calls, and there's a pretty printing and the continuing execution and, and pretty the debugger. So one example here is uh, importing a PDB directly in, in the Python implementation, so setting a breakpoint here with a set trace, and uh, when you execute that, you uh, run into this prompt here, PDB, and when I press N, it uh, executes the next line here, which is this one here, and it complains then about uh, 
some invalid schema. I can then use PP, which is pretty printing, printing a variable, and uh, pretty, pretty printing uh, the, uh, actually the, this request to, to the O firehorse uh, method here. And I can then uh, try to attempt to, uh, attempt to see what's, what's wrong here, and, uh, and uh, you see there's an extra P there, HTTPPS, which is, that's what's wrong. So PDB is uh, available in, uh, in, in, for example, in, in Spider, where you can easily set breakpoints with the mouse and with the keyboard. Um, there's another one that's terminal-based called uh, PUDB, a console-based uh, Python debugger, uh, where uh, now imagine that you have this file here without the, uh, the debugging here. Um, uh, with, with this content here, and uh, then you run this particular application in this way here, rolling with the file name and pop PUDB, and you get this console-based interface here where you can set, yet again, breakpoints and, uh, and watch over the stack and uh, so on, variables. Uh, somewhat more specialized debugging is doing in uh, the regular expression module. So the, these are may be hard to interpret a regular expression here. Down here I've attempted to construct a regular expression for numbers that might contain uh, um, um, negation uh, and, uh, and, um, and the dots and uh, mantissa and, and stuff like that. So the, it might be difficult to, to debug that. Uh, there's a flag debug uh, in, for, in, in the re module which might perhaps get you an over better overview. It, it reports this one here. Um, we can try to go in and see whether it's uh, read it in a, in a slightly different way. Uh, this is not necessarily the, a very uh, intuitive way of, of viewing this. No. One interesting uh, thing that I found out was a guy called Paul Butler and uh, a, a debugging decorator he did. Uh, you can put on a misbehaving function. So a decorator is a, a, a function that can wrap around another function. In this case here, uh, what's happening is with, that we capture the input argument, both the, the positional arguments and, and the keyword arguments, and uh, count up the number of uh, calls to the functions in the call count variable, and uh, also uh, print out uh, the, the value of the arguments as well as the function name and uh, stuff like that. We have the function name here um, and we have the arguments, positional arguments here and the keywords arguments down here formatted somewhat quickly. And then count up the number of uh, input arguments and format them here. And also uh, keep track of the indentation. So uh, this here, uh, when, when you define this function here, you can use it as a decorator and uh, like with the at sign report and put that around another function. So here I'm written as somewhat uh, Fibonacci-like function. I call it not really Fibonacci which, because it's, it's not implementing the Fibonacci functionality. Um, but I have a recursive function here. My might get me into trouble because it's, it's difficult to... Um, to debug these here, uh, so it, uh, I put the decorator up here, and now it wraps around. And when I when I execute this function here, uh, it will uh, it will also execute these here rather, and uh, call the original function down here with this function call here. So it will also call this one here, and you see the uh, the number of times it's it's called the recursive function it's called one two three four five and uh, what the input arguments is uh, in the different stages of the recursion okay so there's uh, not that much information about debugging in, in books I difficult to find there's some things about tracing Python Python code uh, with the line trace and line catch cache um, 
Og den summary, uh, print should uh, rarely appear in a finished program. It's, it's, uh, or at least you should question why you have print in, in, your, in your final program. So it's better to use uh, the login module to, to have a login facility. And uh, PDB is the Python debugger with a simple command line interface, and you have it available in, in Spider and PubDB. Uh, and PUDB. And uh, as you saw here, Python is a programming language with uh, introspection, so you can uh, trace program, the program and query, for example, the function name. So uh, uh, what did actually happen here is that I queried the function name, so that's why it's, it's the, uh, this, when I executed it, it is, it's able to print actually the, the, uh, the name of the function as well as the input arguments, which is also available by introspections. Okay.